What's up folks, Campash UK here. Now, although everyone loves taking out a four-man squad and taking revenge on a fallen teammate, at its core, Daisy is a survival game. This means, although adventures aren't guaranteed, surviving for longer on any map gives you at least a fighting chance. Introducing then, five Daisy habits that will help you to survive. Number one, fill up on water whenever you can. The more the better because you're gonna need it. When stopping at a well, be sure to drink until you see the full stomach symbol on your HUD and fill up any cooking pots or bottles you have for reserve water too. Don't forget that if you're on the PC map in the mouse, you can fill up on snow and icy water. But, like elsewhere, chlorine tablets or boiling is needed to clean anything not from a well. Multivitamins or vitamins taken before drinking suspect water will help too. Number two, eat your food when you have it. If you're making your way across the map with a mobile larder on your back, tuck in. Whenever your food and hydration isn't full, it's a good idea to eat and drink when you can. Do this while it's quiet too, because you don't want to be hungry or thirsty while in danger. Ideally, it's best to be both stationary and warm when eating or drinking. This maximizes the calories and benefit of food and drink. If you're moving around, you'll lose energy and it actually becomes counterintuitive. But staying in one place for too long can also mean meeting other people. So, you know. Number three, if you're teaming up, team up early. The logic here is this. The earlier you meet up, the less there is to lose, and you're more likely to come across someone else who's open to joining you. It also means strength in numbers and company. Note that as soon as someone has more gear than others, that person can become a target. And as your adventure goes on, be more suspicious about team ups if you're running solo. Geared players usually shoot other geared players without hesitation. Meanwhile, lesser geared players will likely want your gear too. If you're cornered, you may be able to talk your way out, beg for your life, or just be held up. You scared me, do you want me to drop oh, stuff? Go, go. <laughs> no, no, go in the middle of the room, go in the middle. Or you may need to sing to appease your captors. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. Uh, anyway, they can't, surely they can't take all the guns. Surely not. Number four. Get a weapon early. This does mean a melee weapon such as a knife which is very useful for survival in general or a baseball bat or a monkey wrench or a tire iron, perhaps not a garden hoe. But also try and get a gun early. If you know where there are police stations, head there because weapons can help you ward off other players too. Not just that, they can help protect against animals, wolves, bears, uh, tigers. Number five, make decisions based on your stats, or at least with them in mind. Daisy is a survival game. There are plenty of videos of people getting into dramatic gunfights, which is great, but behind that is a core knowledge of survival. Making decisions based on your character's needs can mean a longer, more interesting life where you experience and learn more, be that about the game as a whole or about the map that you're playing on. You can even combine your needs. So if you're starving, head to a town for food, or hunt or fish, make a fire, cook, get warm, dry out wet clothes, and you can prepare for your next steps. You could prioritize gunfights, of course, but unless you survive and the losers have what you need, you can still starve, suffer hydration, or get ill from being cold. Sort out the fundamentals first, and the possibility of adventure continues. So to recap, fill up on water, eat food when you have it, Team up early, get a weapon early, make decisions based on stats, and enjoy a day's eat.